March is National Credit Education Month. It's a time to raise awareness about the importance of understanding your credit score and how you can increase it. Joining us now with tips is Bob Yee from Central Pacific Bank. Bob, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Christine. Great to be here. Great to have you because a credit score is very important. Tell us why it's so important. Well, it's important because there are many things which you need to apply for credit for, such as uh, a, a home loan or for buying so many things today on credit card, everybody uses it. Mm -hmm. So it's important to make sure that you've got a good credit history so when you apply, you'll get approved. And what contributes to your credit score? Well, there's a number of factors. Um, for instance, payment history. That's the most important thing. It makes up about 35% of your potential credit score. Mm -hmm. So making sure you're making at least the minimum payments on time is very important for building a good credit history. For things like credit cards, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Home loans, personal loans, auto loans. Okay, so all those things that you see right there on your screen, all of those count towards a good credit score. And what if you're, you know, younger age, how do you even get started and build a credit score? Because, for example, my son is just asking now, he's like, you know, I, I think I want to get a credit card because I need to build my credit score. What age should you start doing that? Typically, it's about 18. So the 18 is a legal age to make contracts. Mm -hmm. And so building your credit history after that uh, is important. That's when you can actually sign for a credit card because it's a contract. Mm -hmm. Same with a loan. So being of the legal age, that's typically when you'll start. It's important to know that, you know, typically you're not going to be able to get a credit card right off the bat mm -hmm. because you have no credit history. So for you being a mother, you can help your son or daughter by allowing them to be an authorized signer on your account because typically you would have good credit. And so making sure that they're on and then they use the card responsibly. So making those payments on time is critical. That can help them build their credit history. Another thing that you can do, and this could be for anyone, not just your son or daughter, but uh, as a young professional or worker starting off, starting with a credit builder loan. So these are typically smaller loans, but again, it'll help you make you, uh, help increase your credit score so long as you're making those credit payments. Finally, uh, banks and other financial institutions give collateral loans or collateral credit cards. So what that is, is you put a certain amount of money aside, you give that to the bank, they'll put it in a savings account or uh, some other account where they'll secure that line of credit or loan, again, making payments on time to build that credit history critical for increasing your score. What is considered a low credit score? What is considered a good credit score? And say you have a low credit score right now, how can you increase it? Right. Uh, anything. 600s is what's considered probably a, a, a moderate credit score. Lower than that, it's, uh, it's, it's not that great. Okay. Anything 700 or above is, is a pretty good sign. So mm -hmm. you're in the green zone, yellow zone, or typically could be the red zone. Building credit uh, from there, again, important to do, and things that you can make sure that you do to improve your score, because you might have had delinquent payments or that sort of thing, which can lower your score. Future payments, make sure you're doing those on time, mm -hmm. again, at least for the minimum amount, or it could be more. And, and doing that on a consistent basis can help you improve your credit score. Now, there's a, a few things that you want to um, be concerned about, because there's agencies and there's advertisers out there that right. may be saying, I can, I can fix your credit, right? And mm -hmm. that's, you, it's, the, it's the quick fix, but it's not necessarily... Uh, a legitimate organization or business. We know that scammers are out there and other things. A, a good, legitimate organization will typically charge you a fee, because they will, mm -hmm. but they'll charge you a fee after they may have removed some of the inaccuracies in your credit report. If they're doing it up front or asking you for an, a fee right now, be wary of those. All right, Bob Yee with Central Pacific Bank, thank you so much for those good tips. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Christine.